This is a SvelteKit route file. We know it's a route file because of the plus prefix here. In this video, we are going to discuss all the different kinds of route files in SvelteKit, but first, let's talk about routing in general. Let's say we're hosting a SvelteKit application on coopercodes.com. We have a simple plus page.js in the base root of our application here, which would serve a page to coopercodes.com, the base URL. Then we have two folders here, with profile and community. Their respective plus page.js files will be served for the profile route and the community route. SvelteKit uses a file system based router, which pretty much just means the folder structure determines the routing. Inside of these folders, we have route files which determine the information that gets served to the user. There are four main types of routing files in SvelteKit. They are page, error, layout, and server. Each of these file types also have file extensions which change their functionality. For example, pluspage.svelte is different than pluspage.js. Let's talk about pluspage route files. Firstly, we have pluspage.svelte. This is the svelte file that gets served to your user. By default, pluspage.svelte is rendered on the server for the initial request and rendered in the browser for every request after. We also have pluspage.js. We use pluspage.js when we want to load data for a page.svelte. If you're a blog, you could have the functionality to get all your blog posts in the load function here. This has similar rendering logic to before, with it being rendered on the server initially and on the browser for each request after. Finally, we have pluspage.server.js. This is pretty much pluspage.js, except it will always run server side. The load function of the file is only able to run on your server. This is good if you have API keys or other things you do not want the client to see. Now we can talk about the plus error route files. Plus error.svelte allows you to make a customizable error page for your users. Imagine 404 blog posts not found. Error handling in SvelteKit is for a different video, so I'm going to keep it at that. Now let's talk about plus layout route files. Layouts are used whenever you want content to be shown on every single route in your application. For example, a navbar that shows the top of a page no matter what route you're on. Firstly, we have a plus layout.svelte file. This determines the svelte behavior of your layout and importantly needs to have a slot component. The slot component determines where the page content will be relative to your layout. Secondly, we have a plus layout.js, which allows us to use a load function for our plus layout.svelte file. If you need any data for your layout, you can grab that data here. And finally, we have the plus layout.server.js, which has a load function like before, but is on the server side. This is again useful for keeping sensitive information safe. Now the final route file type is the plus server route file. Imagine plus server.js as your API file. The plus server.js allows you to handle HTTP requests to a certain route, allowing functionality for things like get, post, and a bunch of other requests. For example, let's say we wanted to make an API that gives us a random number. We can create our folders for our API, create our plus server.js file in our route folder, create the logic for a get route, then create the logic inside the route for giving us a random number, and then finally return that number within a response object. Now, if we ever call API slash random number with a get request, we will then get the random number in our response. And there we go. Now you know every file name throughout the SvelteKit ecosystem. And hopefully you're feeling more confident when it comes to working with SvelteKit projects. Feel free to subscribe for more SvelteKit 1.0 content in the future.